Hello viewers, I am Manoranjan Burman and you are watching my YouTube channel Medical Lab Tech. So today I am going to provide you some important MCQ on tissues. So without further wasting time, let's move on to the MCQ. Must cells of connective tissue contains, you have options heparin, calcitonin, vasopressin, serotonin. So your right option is option A that is heparin. Next question number 2. Which of the following is a areolar connective tissue joint? You have options fat body with muscle, bone with bone, bone with muscle and integument with muscle. So bone to bone joints has connective tissue like cartilage which is known as the areolar tissue joint. So the option is bone to bone. Next. Which type of cells in connective tissue can synthesize antibodies? Your options are plasma cells, fat cells, mast cells, mesenchyme. Out of these only plasma cells can produce antibodies. So these plasma cells are derived from B lymphocytes. Fat cells cannot produce antibodies, mast cells cannot produce antibodies, they can produce some chemicals like heparin. So the correct option is A. Plasma cells. Next. The connective tissue with fluid matrix is you have options blood and lymph, cartilage and bone, adipose tissue and areolar tissue, none of the above. We know that connective tissue has cells and extracellular matrix. So extracellular matrix may be semi-solid or liquid. So blood and lymph is the only connective tissue which contains the liquid extracellular matrix or liquid matrix fluid. So your correct option is A. Blood and leaf. Next question. Which type of cartilage is there in the outer ear? Your options are hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage, fibrocartilage and none of the above. Your outer ear has elastic cartilage which maintain the shape of your outer ear. So your correct option is B. Elastic cartilage. Next question. Immature cells in the cartilage are known as your options are osteoblast, osteocyte, chondrocyte, chondroblast. So as we know that the mature cell has a suffix of site C O Y T E, and the immature cell has a suffix of blast B L A S T. So here we have osteoblast. Osteo means related to bones. So osteoblast will be the immature bone cells osteocyte will be the matured bone cell then coming to the chondrocyte site means a mature cell chondrocyte is there so it is the matured cell of cartilage so the last option is chondroblast chondro means related to cartilage and blast means the immature cell so immature cartilage cell is known as the chondroblast so your answer is d chondroblast Move on to the next question. Connective tissue develops from ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm, and none of the above. So we know that there are three germ layers known as ectoderm, is the outermost layer, mesoderm is the middle layer, and endoderm is the innermost layer. So these connective tissues are developed from the middle layer, that is the mesoderm. Next Functions of epithelial tissue is Option A. Movement of parts Option B. Protection, secretion and respiration Option C. Protection, secretion, absorption Option D. Storage, attachment, protection Movement of part is not a function of epithelial tissue Coming to the option B, protection is the function of epithelial tissue, secretion is also correct, but respiration is not the function of epithelial tissue, so option B is not correct. Now we'll move on to the option C, protection, secretion and absorption, but three are the functions of the epithelial tissue, it can protect, it can give the secretion, it can absorb, so your correct option is C. Storage and attachment is not a function of epithelial tissue. So your correct option is C. Protection, secretion and absorption. Next question. Transitional epithelium is present in your options are intestine, 
salivary glands, lungs, urinary blood. Transitional epithelium is present in your urinary bladder. When your urinary bladder is empty, so it will be like keboidal or columnar type cells. And when your bladder is full, it is fully stretched, then these cells will become flattened. So your correct option is D, urinary bladder. Next, the simple epithelium present in the lining of the blood vessel are known as columnar epithelium, cuboidal epithelium, endothelium, transitional epithelium. So we know that the lining epithelium inside the blood vessel is simple squamous epithelium which is known as endothelium. So your correct option is C, endothelium. Next, which muscle is known as involuntary muscle? Cardiac muscle, smooth muscle, both option A and B, then neither option A nor B. So we know that uh, there are three types of muscles, uh, skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, smooth muscle. So out of these three muscles, skeletal muscle has the voluntary muscle. Skeletal muscle is the voluntary muscle and remaining to cardiac and smooth muscle are involuntary muscle. So you cannot uh, control the movement of cardiac muscle and smooth muscle. So that is why it is known as involuntary muscle. So your correct option is option C. Both A and B are the involuntary muscle. Next, group of cells, those are similar in structure and function are structured into organ system, muscle, bone and tissue. Tissue will be the correct option here. So your correct option is D. Next, name of the tissue that are involved in the formation of membranes. Your options are epithelial tissue, connective tissue, nervous tissue and muscular tissue. Epithelial tissue takes the main role while talking about the formation of membranes or lining epithelium. So your correct option will be A, epithelial tissue. Next, name the tissue which detects changes inside and outside the body and respond by action potential. Your options are epithelial tissue, connective tissue, nervous tissue and muscular tissue. So your nervous tissue can uh, detect changes inside and outside the body and it can respond by the action potential. So your correct option is option C, that is the nervous tissue. Next. Which of the following does not belong to the class of covering and lining epithelium? Your options are simple squamous epithelium, glandular epithelium, simple cuboidal epithelium and simple columnar epithelium. Simple squamous epithelium involved in the covering and lining epithelium. Uh, simple cuboidal also and simple columnar also involved in the covering and lining epithelium. But the glandular epithelium does not involve in the covering and lining epithelium. So your correct option is glandular epithelium which secretes some substances like sweet. Next question, name the epithelium which consists of two or more than two layers of cells that protect the core tissues. So pseudostratified columnar epithelium, simple columnar epithelium, simple cuboidal epithelium, stratified epithelium. So we know that simple epithelium has only one layer. So in the question, it is talking about two or more than two layers. So option B and C are not the correct option. So option A, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Pseudostratified columnar, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. It has one layer, but if you look from the side, it looks like many layers. Actually, it's a fake stratified epithelium. So we have the last of stratified epithelium has two or more than two layers. So your correct option is option D. Straight. Next question, which connective tissue is avascular? Means that does not contain blood vessels. So your options are A cartilage, B bone, C lymph, D none of the above. So first I'm going to talk about cartilage. Cartilage is the connective tissue which is avascular which does not contain blood vessels next talking about the bone so bone is the highly vascular connective tissue so please remember so your correct option is option a which is cartilage 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए पर्सन मेट विथ एन एक्सीडेंट इन हुई टू लॉन्ग बोन्स ऑफ हिज हैंड वेर डिसलोकेटेड सो हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मे बी द पॉसिबल रीजन फॉर इट योर ऑप्शन आर ए टेंडन ब्रेक्स बी ब्रेक्स ऑफ स्केल्टल मासिल टिश्यू सी लिगामेंट ब्रेक्स डी एरियलर टिश्यू ब्रेक्स सो टेंडन टेंडन हेल्प्स टू bind the muscle to the bone so in the question it's mentioned that two long bones were dislocated so option a is not the correct option option b skeletal muscle tissue skel we are talking about the bones dislocation so skeletal muscle won't be involved here so option c ligament breaks ligament is the connective tissue which which helps to bind two bones in a proper position Here in the question, it has it is mentioned that there is there is a dislocation of two long bones, so the possible reason is the ligament break. So your correct option is option C, which is ligament breaks. Next question, which is a highly vascular connective tissue? Just before two questions, I have told you, uh, cartilage is the avascular tissue and bone is the highly vascular tissue. So your correct option here will be A. there is bone now move on to the last question intestine absorb the digested food materials which type of epithelial cells are responsible for that so your options are a stratified squamous epithelium b columnar epithelium c spindle fibers d cuboidal epithelium so for absorption mainly the columnar epithelium cells are responsible so your correct option will be option b which is columnar epithelium this is the end of the video please like share and comment and those who are new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe thank you for watching